and violence and other kind of violence. It's ridiculous, bro. Um, CA with the 499 Super Trap. He says, I feel like black women hold on to the ghetto talk a lot longer than black men, which is a problem, too. Once sun men get some grounding in their life. Oh, shit. Like <laughs> right. That's big facts. Like, bro, are you? There's a reason why niggas are going hard because they're hard headed. That's why they're hard headed, bro. Like, we're trying to tell them, yo, your options are very limited if you have three kids by three different baby dads. I ain't going to settle. I ain't going to do that. Okay. But just because you feel like you rise to a uh, certain standard doesn't mean that the party that you want feels like you're at that standard. But you okay, tell me so what you down. want. Slow down. So as a you black... You tell me what you think I should hear. Look, she keeps... Like, why is she so disrespectful to a woman that is supposed to be her friend? She keeps telling her to shut the fuck up. It's crazy. Girl, Tranquilo. tell me what you want. Tranquilo, mami. Huh? Yeah, man has she told her. She told her, tranquilo. She told her, tranquilo. When she's the most fucking loud one on the podcast. Been so let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. As a black man, and right. I'm going to ask all y'all this, and I want all y'all to give me your answer. Mm -hmm. As a black man, what do you feel like you want from a black woman? Or what do you feel like you would need from a black woman? Because white men. Let's, let's, I'm not talking about no other race. I'm talking about a black woman. Yeah. Less combativeness. Less masculine energy. Okay. More peace. Okay. Um. That <laughs> That's basically what I want. Okay. I, so? I, I'm a... Go, what, what, what he Take said, what he okay. said, but also, um, stop. Okay, so I feel like women get comfortable once they got a man, they don't have to remain beautiful or you know, like make them keep, keep it themselves, up, keep mm -hmm. themselves up. Keep so up. I feel like you know, maintain your beauty, okay, mm -hmm. as, as well as like physically fit, you know, comb your goddamn hair, mm -hmm. oh, you know what I'm saying, like absolutely. and all that, shit, but um, no weaves, no bald. Don't be bald. Don't have weeds. You're automatically disqualified. Any guy with some bread, any guy with a bag is not. I'm telling you, they might go for the weave. They definitely might go for the weave just because, you know, every sister and their mama is wearing weave. But the bald shit. Come on, bro. Pretty much what King's saying. Like, okay. I, I would say that. Eli? Obviously, I'm going to piggyback, but I'm going to say um, loyalty, support. Absolutely. Um, like I said, that comes back. Fitness. Be in shape. Four out of five are obese. Be in shape. Out of this, men mm -hmm. saying, "Yo, we, we tired of that. We tired of hearing like I mean, my masculine men are tired of hearing that, bro. Mm -hmm. I keep saying, but that. what do you, you want? Talk about we want more. Fe we want more feminine women. Look, every time she says something, she puts her hand on and tries to shut her up. I mean, you know what I mean? Submissive. Y'all think that's such an evil word? And y'all think y'all equate submissiveness? Let me right. like, hold on, hold on. Let, let me let me Hush. get this off. Y'all equate submissiveness <laughs> with slavery and shit. That's not what that is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's like like I said, somebody that's physically fit. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because we." Guys are visual. Mm. Um, I don't know if I said loyalty, respect. Like you know what I mean? Like okay. these are things that we want in our women. Not loud, quiet, meek, mild, mild mannered, not promiscuous, not wearing all types of shit out. Unless you're with me, Under We're understanding. So. And Communicating. Yeah. Can I just ask y'all real quick? Wait, hold Can on, you friend, describe have... Responsible with your womb. Can't have kids. <laughs> so much. I have. Wait, hold on, because I have a major question. Mm -hmm. So okay, so you said submissive. So many men. Have, have let's break that, that down. Us, right? No, because I agree. Because everything question, else though. was was I it was an agreement. That's mm -hmm. why I'm only I'm only gonna comment on the thing that I feel like I need to. Is like a little. Hosty mark, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you said submissiveness. Mm -hmm. So I feel like selflessness. Like so, and I'm not talking about you. Mm. I feel like so many men want women to submit, but what are we submitting to? And when I say that, nowadays, nowadays, men don't know how to fix a tire. They don't know how to build a cabinet. They don't know how to build a shelf. Wait. They don't know how to. They don't know how to fix. Bruh, that ain't an excuse.
that's not an excuse. Most people are outsourcing all of that kind of stuff. Any maintenance in the household, most people are outsourcing that. Let's keep it a buck. And 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 even if you don't want to outsource it, it's literally a YouTube video away. That's not a fucking excuse. Come on. To to not be submissive, that's your excuse. Oh, well, men can't fix a cabinet. <laughs> men can't fix the plumbing. Bitch, come the fuck on. You're just not submissive, point blank. Uh, Michael Stitcher with a $10 super trap. He says, LOL, I get what you're saying. You live in Atlanta. I live in Virginia Beach. We have an assortment of black women. Yes, the majority might be extra, but there's plenty of women that are different. Bro. Um, You know, I feel you. I definitely feel you. I didn't say that there weren't different women. What I'm saying is this is the majority. So it makes it hard for black men to actually find something. And if and if they're not looking like this or acting like this, then they have a mindset that is not conducive for a long term relationship. I mean, look at look at Lori Harvey come for money. Black woman. She didn't she did not want to be in a relationship. A lot of these women that y'all are talking about. Oh, well, there are plenty of women out here today. They don't want to be in a fucking relationship, bro. If you ask them to be your girlfriend, what? That's weird. We was just fucking. Like, they don't want to be in a relationship. <laughs> That's what you got to understand. So you out here thinking that, oh, well, there's pretty black women. And I'm talking about good looking women. I'm not talking about these fat ass, ugly ass. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not talking about them ugly ass bitches, bro. I'm talking about good looking. Okay. Slim, fit bodies, you know, nice proportions, cute face. Um, they don't want to be in a relationship, bro. So, like I said, it's not much to choose from. It's a toilet. They don't know how to paint a house. Hold on. They don't know how to do anything. They don't know. Most men nowadays don't even want to work because they scamming or they want to. That's that, a job. That, no, no, but no, 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 no but no, so it's like, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not talking no, about no, y'all. No, 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 mm -hmm, not. Mm -hmm. I'm just, here, yeah, bro. exactly. You feel yeah. me? So it's just like. Men want us to submit, but it's like at the end of the day. Well, y'all don't cook. Y'all don't clean. But y'all still want the ring like Cardi B said. Day, what are we submitting to? Mm -hmm. You're not making me feel comfortable. You're not making me feel secure. You're not making me feel like, okay, this man, like, I don't feel like, okay, if I put my ducks in a row and I submit to this man, I'm going to be good. Mm. Can I ask a question? So just what are we submitting on? to? Please, please, baby, please, please ask a question. Shout out to John Gill with the 499 Super Trap. He said, things pretty complex. Ha ha. Treat each other with respect. Acting tough or dominant doesn't make you tough. I'm strong enough for a sister, but I'm good. Damn! Right, exactly. They're like, oh, well, you're not strong enough to handle me. Why would a why would a man want to handle? his woman unless it's in the bedroom like i don't want to have to think about oh how am i gonna handle her when she get off of work <laughs> like no bruh question um clearly these men do exist though they do absolutely they do i'm not saying that they don't so my question to you is on, why do you feel like you do not attract these men i do it no but that's hey. the thing and that's what i feel like no you don't attract these men I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a buck you're not attractive enough to attract these men there are some very attractive women in new york the latinas are taking over the clubs and the bottle service and the bottle girls so you're not really going to be able to attract these men. Okay. I'm sorry, but you're not. You're not. Okay. No nigga is going to call you into his section. Guys, we just seen the video on the woman who exposed Trey songs. And she, she actually looked, I mean, she, she looked okay. Um, she said Trey songs wouldn't let her in cause she was too dark skinned. Let me, let me look this up. Uh, Woman says Trey songs wouldn't let her in the section. And I'm not saying that she's not going to be able to pull these men because she's dark. I'm just saying, like, she's not cute, bro. That is, that's what it is. It's not even her skin complexion. She's, she's just not beautiful, okay? She's just 
not beautiful. She's, I mean, I mean, her attitude, a lot of things about this woman is ugly, okay? Including her appearance, respectfully. <laughs> like, it's just ridiculous, bro. And then she's out here acting a fool and you think you're going to get a man worth a damn. So this is the video on the woman who says she was denied entry to uh, Trey Song's section because she was too dark skinned. I feel like the world needs to know and immediately stop supporting Trey Song. Now, I'll and she's actually cute. OK, she looks decent. Can't see her body, but she looks decent. And she was rejected from Trey Song's section. So what makes you think, and I'm not saying Trey Song's is the arbiter of beauty, but everybody's going to be, if you're in the club with Trey Song's, most likely, and you're a bitch, you're going to be trying to get in his section. Outside of his other allegations, I'm going to say something that is not an allegation. I witnessed it firsthand. Firsthand. At True Lounge, I noticed that not all the women in his section were beautiful. Like, they weren't but they were so she starts by putting down other women classy for all one thing and that's like complexed and i wondered to myself well maybe he just hasn't seen a pretty chocolate girl yet that you know he wants to live in his section surely tremaine i mean you're okay but you're not a standout beauty you know can't see your body, but I'm assuming that you're not a bombshell or anything like that. So, I mean, she's cute, but it's not like she's, oh, you know, break your neck cute. You know, the man I grew up with having a crush on. Truly, Tremaine isn't opposed to having a chocolate girl in his section as long as she's beautiful, right? Fucking wrong. So, as I make my way over to the section, hoping that me and my girlfriend can get in, I was greeted with security after letting me <laughs> And I'm not even trying to put down women, but I'm going to say probably not the most attractive woman in the section simply because she was light skinned. I mean, I want to tell you, like, wow. So she is hating on another black woman. See, why are the dark? I mean, you have two nose piercings that look crazy coming out of your fucking nose. And it looked like she had a, a chest tattoo on the corner of her collarbone. It's not attractive. Okay. <clears throat> Shout out to Michael Stitcher with the $5 Super Trap. He says, don't get me wrong. I'm all for going outside your race if you want to. That's very common here. Go for what you want, no matter, no, or go for what you want, no matter race. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, you know, Michael, I, and I'm not trying to say this is all, but I'm saying that just like I said earlier, just as difficult as it is for black women to find black men who ain't and jailbirds or this or that or all the things that they complain about is just as hard for black men to find black women who are not on you know falling in line with the angry stereotypes and whatnot okay even by having this discussion they're going to like get angry immediately come with the insults immediately without even just looking at the pure facts and what we have here on social media the great thing that social media has done is showed us that we're not crazy and that yo this is happening all over the place <clears throat> she's entitled to go into trey song's section just because she thinks she's cute this is the delusion baby girl you're cute and all but you're a six okay cyrus cherry with the five dollar super trap he says gen z i know you are aware of mental illness has it occurred to you that most people in the community is a emotionally stunned? Absolutely. I mean, the culture encourages being emotionally stunned. Still trying to be the rapper, still trying to be the street nigga, still trying to be the hood nigga. And look, I love, I love rap. I love bars. I do music production, write all that type of shit. But at the same time, I know how to separate entertainment from reality. A lot of these dudes do not. Shout out to CA with the 499 Super Trap. He says, how many high value sun women have we lost because someone keeps shooting them? If sun thug thugs had better aim, we wouldn't need these conversations. To beauty standards, she's not an attractive woman. She got let in a section. And I said, how did you let her in a section? But I mean, he said, because 
dark skinned women are weak, and he said he don't want no weak ass dark skinned women. So this is not actually Trey Songs who said this. This is um, I guess a DJ or a security guard. Section. He said he always has enough weak women in his section. No, I cannot let any dark skinned women in his section because you guys are not pretty enough, pretty much. And I was like, what the fuck? And the DJ, he was DJing in the club last night, literally had a whole speech. He was like, listen, you are a goddess. You don't let this get you down. You're so why why didn't you date the DJ? Why were you so pressed on getting in Trey Song's section? Why didn't you give the DJ some pussy? He said he thought you were beautiful. See, the women don't want the men who actually think they're, that they're attractive. Look, I learned as a man, you got to like who likes you. I'm not going to, you know, it's a, it's plenty of women who think I'm or, or who I think are beautiful, but I don't like you unless you like me back. That's how the fuck I'm rolling. If you don't like me back, then hell nah, I, I'm not going to show you that I like you. OK, if you don't like me back, I'm not going to show you that I like you. A lot of the sisters are going to have to go the same way. Like who likes you. I don't care if he's ugly. I don't care if he wears glasses. I don't care if he's a nerd, nigga. I don't care if he's in the chess club. I don't care if he's a DJ and you wanted the rapper. You better like who likes you. Okay? That's it. You're not qualified for a Trey Songs. Why you would want to get in his section after these multiple allegations is another question that we would have to ask ourselves. You're beautiful. You're a goddess. But... We're paying him, sorry, um, the DJ who was like DJing said, we're paying him $30,000 and we have to do what he says. So we got to give him what he wants. And to me, black women are queens. You are a queen, but we can't let you in the section. Because well, why, why, why didn't you give the DJ some play? If he's, he thought you were so beautiful and he, he thought you were so royal, why didn't you show him some love? I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. Because her hypergamy would not allow her to. Because he doesn't want dark skin. That's the industry, that's industry shit. Industry shit, like, no dark skin women. And I swear we've heard stories about celebrities doing this, but I never actually thought it was real. Like. I did, but I guess just like seeing it for myself, like solidified it in my mind that your favorite celebrity women won't let you next to them because you're weak. And there you have it. There you have it. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, black men are getting submission from all types of women, all types of races everywhere you go okay for example let me show you this woman she says all she wants to deal with are black men now after dating white men she only will deal with black men my actual serious ex-boyfriends were white like three ex-boyfriends were white i kind of guess like i don't know and she's not cute either her cheeks are fucking weird as shit bitch look Look like a damn brass doll, but niggas will hit because niggas will hit anything. Me personally, I think all of the black women, <clears throat> excuse me, I think all the black women on this panel look way better than her. This one right here is probably one of the baddest. Her and then the one right here, the dark skin woman, she's she's pretty too. Um, but Shorty is not cute, but you know. She's talking about how much she likes black men over other or over her own race. And look at look at the light skinned sister's face. She upset. Why? Because she's like, damn, I didn't think we had competition like that. But yes, you have competition. And no. Why she know. go black and yeah, never go back? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I guess she could you say that. But was that to do with sex? No, yeah, I don't why know. Do it? it was just like. So she fine. 
And she asked her, does that have to do with sex? And she said, no, it's probably the swag, but she can't explain it. It's just the vibe. Hmm? That woman, she's not black man. I don't know, everything. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't know. They can't explain it. It's just the vibe. But that just goes to show you that black men have options. And um, I mean, if if we got sisters who are getting rejected by black men who are already in the fold, already in the community, then shit. I mean, Trey Songs is as black as you can get. The thing that my TikTok suggests is that these is the men that I don't attract. Mm -hmm. I'm not. So when I talk about it, it's certain things that I talk personally, but a lot of things I'm talking in general. A lot of people was feeling like I'm saying that black men don't respect me and they don't submit to me and they not. So no, like serious. the black so men, majority of the black men that I have had in my life, like, of course, nobody is perfect. Of course, I didn't have my ups, I didn't have my downs. Absolutely. Mm. But I didn't have my black men that is absolutely great to me. Mm. So when I speak, I'm not speaking on all black men. And I think that's why I'm getting such black backlash mm. because they feel like I'm speaking all black men is like this and all black men whoop de whoop. No, I got beautiful. I got some beautiful black kings in my mm. corner that I know that I can call and they'll be like, yo, whoop de whoop. I got you, girl. You good. Or yo, what you why, need? Or yo, I, I got you. Men, but do, why not date those men? Do you think that you'll articulate that? That you that, that you're I not feel speaking like, about right. Segments. I feel like I don't articulate that I'm not speaking on all and I'm oh. not speaking on me. Right. Because that's why I feel like I get the backlash. Because, because majority of my comments is, oh well, you're not picking the right ones and right. you're not doing the right thing uh -huh. and you're not and you're not. But baby, I'm not speaking on me. Right, right, right. Me and my niggas is good. Okay. Excuse my language, but we good. Yeah, but all, all, all of them. them speaking all all of them. A lot of times in all, your content, it all does, of them. It does sound sound like you're an antagonizing black men because when you say words like, oh, these unstable creatures. I do call y'all right? unstable creatures. That's like how you expect black men. I don't have a problem with that, honestly. I mean, there's a lot of unstable niggas out here. That's why I coined the phrase super gremlins on demon time. Because, I mean, there are some very unstable creatures, okay? And anybody can be a gremlin, as I put in my community posts. But there is something going on in the air when it comes to the community. There really is. Okay? And we can't deny it. And it's obvious that she sees it, but she surrounds herself by those same type of men. Because I do like, feel like y'all unstable creatures. Because every time I post a video and y'all in my comments crashing at me, y'all give every much of unstable creatures. And hold but on. See? But let's fall back to where Unstable Creatures even started. Unstable Creatures started at Baby Boy, where Jody? Light Skin, no, not Jody, his oh, friend, oh. Light Skin, he oh. said, I'm not going to call them inches, but I'm going to call them Unstable Creatures. So that originally started from a black man calling women Unstable Creatures. Oh. I just right. picked, no, but men was also, I know men that call women that as well. I but just I flipped it. It also Nah, I'm the flipping the motive. And I, hold on, I feel like Cut her off again. Like men don't like when women flip it. We gonna have and I feel like y'all don't like that. Why is her hand on her stomach? This is fucking crazy. Now that I'm looking at their dynamic, they might be eating each other. Like they might be eating each other out type shit. Like I think they're definitely in a lesbian type relationship because I think they both have kids. And they both are on that men ain't shit and this and third when on all actuality, men just aren't approaching you. You're not sexy enough to get approached by any nigga worth a damn. And that's what make it heat. Because y'all can come with all the heat. Mm. And when a woman come with a little heat and caliente, mm. y'all don't like that. You, you don't understand that women been bringing heat from the beginning. We have Y'all been, 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 been having daytime television shows shitting on black men. Having a heat is a two different word. thing. Oprah made a living off of bashing black men. Daytime Bash. television made a living off of bashing that's black men. That's so Tyler funny. Perry made movies Yo, bashing black That's so black funny men. that you say Oprah because I was just watching Everybody Hates Chris in the first episode. And that's so funny that you say Oprah. And that's so funny. that I was yeah, okay. watching. What the fuck does Everybody Hates Chris have to do with Oprah? In the first episode, of everybody hate Chris. In the first episodes of Oprah was how black men could cater to their women. So a Oprah Man, was up there. Wasn't watching Oprah, it. She had to switch Oprah up was up there saying that, oh, 
you know, give your woman flowers, do this, do this, and do that, do that. She was Oprah's ratings was always high. That's why she's skin Oprah. No, they was high because she so, started bashing black so men. Can I nah, just bring Oprah has to, always been when Oprah. we talk shit about each other as genders, we both get ratings. Black women and black men. Controversy is that? always going to create ratings. So let's just act. It's a whitewash yeah. system. Act like we don't we know go against we were each Wow, it's a whitewash system. What the fuck do white people have to do with any of these conversations, bro? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Ay, ay, ay. Shut up. been conquered a long time ago. Let's just stop acting like you know. I That's do wanna, I want to. I want to. I want to get on that topic because. Damn! Why what? the fuck she slap her shoulder like that? Watch that. Let's just stop acting like you know. That. I do That's wanna, I want. I want to. I want to get. God damn! Y'all heard that smack? Get on that topic because. What? Wait. What? Whoa. Whoa! That's the fuck. Why right? you brought up? Why? <laughs> Why you brought up eight by his crystal? I didn't, I didn't. No, because of he said Oprah, and I remember the first episodes of Oprah. She was speaking on how black men, how they could um make their relationship better, uh -huh. and how like you know they could kind of cater to their women. Uh -huh. And she was basically and saying, you know, show. bring your woman flowers, check on her at work. You know, what do the this, fuck? Do that. She never explained how that has anything to do with everybody hates Chris. You know, show. she was trying to like, you know, give a little helping hand to how you can, you know, basically make your woman's day better, you know. But let's also talk about that. That's show. why I brought that up. It was how just only a, it was only an example. Okay. And also shows the example of us coming together. No, that, and that's no matter what, how divided we was. Go ahead. I'm that's sorry. what I want to get to because I always say this. You know, the black family was the strongest back in the sixties when we had married. This gender war that's going on, where black women are bashing black men and black men are doing the same thing. That's not doing nothing. And when we go out and promote that other races are going to treat us better, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? When you see when you say black black men and it's the, the 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 stats show it, black men do date outside their race. Not the most because that, that would be Asian women. They date outside their race, but they do date outside. So instead of black women just being like, "Well, y'all don't love y'all mothers," why don't y'all sit down and have the conversation? Hey, what? Why do y'all want to date? What makes y'all want to date outside your race? More? So what makes you want to date? I don't date outside my race. But, but can we also you date outside your race? Never. But can we also never, bring never, up never in my life, never in your life? Can we also Have bring up the fact? I mean, let's keep it a buck. A lot of dudes don't date outside their race. Um, maybe they haven't been approached, propositioned, but. <clears throat> Or maybe they're not in the vicinity where they've had that opportunity or experience. I'm just going to say this. Most dudes are not turning down pussy. It doesn't matter what color she is. As long as she's attractive, we're going. That's bad. This is you have attracted you to her, though. But this is the type of huh? content that brought you to her page. Mm. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted, to, you I wanted like, to have the conversation. About... That's why I brung her because I wanted that. Because when she mm. says things, that's just like we get women. But all... that that clip that that's you just brung up was from today. Yeah, that, that was it. So from from today, what is the clip that made you? Because that was literally because from today. I, as, I literally posted man, that before I, I went hear, to work. What, I'm going to tell you, as a black man, when I hear black women say these type of rhetoric. So what made you what, what, what? I'm, I'm trying to get to that. <laughs> but what is the no? I want to know what is the specific rhetoric? Because like I said, t that video that just came up, that was today. Mm -hmm. So there was something before today that made you be like, yo, wooty wooty woo. Well, I just seen it. And when, when you say when black women say things like that, Oh well, white white men treat us better. Or Indian people. No, listen to me. I just said that today. No, no. you don't asked me to come. No, you asked me to come on the podcast before today. Yeah. So, what is the subject that caught you that made you be like, "Yo, you said come white men." When you when I seen that post, regardless of the topics we had, I said, "You know what? We need to talk about that because I don't like that rhetoric coming from black men or women." I don't think you understand my question. She, she's asking you when you looked at her page. Mm -hmm. What made you say we need to have her on the show? That's because I just said that with the black and whatever other race. I just said yeah. that today. So what other topic? I was she already had coming here today. Yeah. So what made you want me to come here before that topic today? But That's we, my question, we, baby. We, That's we, it. Yeah, we, 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 we just want vocal people over here. You know what I'm saying? We, we, it's, not, it's not a specific topic yeah. that you had on your page. It's just that you're a vocal. You had, like that. had multiple I mean, posts yeah. oh. being yeah. vocal. It's, not, it's also, not, and not that you, you know what I mean? And okay. you, seem, you seem to be frustrated with the black men in your comments. So yeah. I said, you know what? This would be a good platform to have these type of conversations yeah, and try to come with some type of solution. Exactly. So I do want to get to the next topic real quick. Um, Obviously, I just mentioned about, you know, I feel like black men are starting to feel like, um, 
black women can openly criticize, bash. I even heard black women say they hate black men, right? Mm. But the minute a black man says anything critical about black women, y'all automatically go to he hates his mother, he hates his sister. So my question is, why is it okay that black women can clearly just go out? I've seen black women say some of the heinous things like, we need to abort black male babies. I got videos of black women saying that. And th those are the divesters who are saying the, that, I mean, and it's already happening. I mean, black male babies are getting aborted at a higher rate than any other kid um, or any other child per capita. So, I, I mean, it's already happening. You get what I'm saying? So why is that rhetoric okay? But the minute a man says, you know what? I want my woman to be X, Y, and Z. He hates his mother. Why don't we keep the same energy? The abort black babies is crazy. Mm. Just say that. Mm. That's not okay. Absolutely crazy. Um, but I bet all of them are pro-choice. So abort back black babies is crazy, but y'all already doing that at fucking 100 miles per hour. But what I will say is that, first of all, black men have been bashing black women from always. <laughs> like, But that's how black men feel about black women. But but no. Wait, what do you mean always, though? Like, from, who, who was From black? the beginning of... Who was blashing black women? I'm not gonna... I can't, I can't pick up the first black man that yeah, always I'm not saying, bash a black I'm not, woman. I'm I'll help you out, sis. Bitches ain't shit but holes and tricks. What's my favorite word, bitch? Um, you could just point out the hip hop for that. I'm not saying the first Absolutely. heritage of the music that saying, we but, Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even, hold on. Even, but wait, even hold on, we could even bring on. it back to the the music, even still. But wait, hold on. When I wasn't. Saying, when you say from the beginning. Obviously, you're not gonna go from the, from Jesus Christ or whatever. I'm just saying <laughs> when you Jesus pick Christ. when you, when did you pick it up that black men is black and is bashing black women. That's a vague statement. statement. From the beginning, is, that's 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 a. That, it is a very <laughs> yeah. vague statement uh, because it's not like I could pick up the first very I, that's, I'm not, moment. I'm not, I'm not, asking, I'm not no. asking for that. I'm asking so, but I, you. Your experience. I could just say point, from your experience. I would just say from over time and just seeing because so, I want to bring up when black men got the right to vote before black women and when that already started. So y'all, I mean, come on, bro. And there's an argument that says, bro, y'all shouldn't even be able to vote, bro, at all. But that's a, ask Tierra Mac. <laughs> there's no way, like, there's got to be some more requirements to voting. Like, maybe you got to own some property like they used to back in the day. You had to own property, something. You got to have a stake in this shit. Because we got too many people voting who don't have a stake in this country, which is a business at the end of the day. We're God. your enemy on that? No, 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 no. no. Okay. We both was. You're not my enemy. No. You're not my enemy. Okay. My whole thing okay. is we together. Okay. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm trying, trying to make? bring my point up okay. to like, further like, how like, divide how and conquer my apologies. began okay. to bring us apart. It was before First that. First of all, that shit has nothing to do that. with us, but we made it our shit because that's as black people, that's what we do. We make it ours. Mm. What? What does she mean by we make it ours as black people? We just make it our shit. What do we make our shit? Isn't that cultural appropriation? Taking another person's culture and making it your shit. But it's okay for us to be culturally appropriating, but nobody else, right? So that's first what we got to understand in this conversation. Because mm. that's part of what's going on. Mm. I'm making this mine because as a woman, I got to fight for this. Certain rights I got, y'all don't have to worry about. And I, certain I would, rights y'all have. Women got more rights than men today. In today's certain society. rights y'all have, I don't have to worry about. And I could say that too, but because I birth a black man, I may feel more pride towards it that I can't really explain to you in a way that you can relate to because we different genders. Yeah, so, that's so not true. You don't have kids, but because I birth. So a real black quick, man. when you say the things you say about certain black men. Why can't our rebuttal be, well, you must hate your father, you must hate your brother, you burp, you, you got a son, you got kids? Yes. You got a son, do you hate your son? Like, First why all, is that not all rhetoric? No, I'm, I'm ever. not saying that. I'm not saying that. No, but, but please don't ever. Don't I, I, ever. I, I, I don't apologize ever. But why? Uh oh, she's triggered. Now you finna start to see that attitude come out. Ever. What I'm trying to say is. Not my son. Why? I don't believe the same. Yeah, what but I'm trying I know, to say. But I know, but don't ever. Uh, and you could tell she, I mean, come on. If this woman is not abusive to her kid, I don't know what abuse is, bro. 
I understand that. What I'm trying to say is, why is that never the reciprocation from black men when y'all say all these, some women say all these hateful things? We don't go to you. It could mother, be. You hate your father, you hate your brother. It could be. Oh, okay, so that's why I feel like y'all are taught not to speak up like that. Yeah. So let's first talk about how that's y'all are I'm... not, y'all are not um, I never said that y'all can't. speak in that way. I never said that y'all can't. I feel the way doing that. I feel the way I feel, so and I feel like that. I am all in just on feeling the way I feel. And if you want to